apparently Gemini AI can now design logos, create visuals, even design actual design tools within itself. But can it replace me as a graphic designer? Firstly, what exactly is Gemini AI? Well, Gemini is Google's multi-model creative engine. It can answer any questions and it can actually even write code. For designers, that means you can ask it to build tools that you can use on any design brief. Truly wild. So I opened up Gemini AI and I went to the canvas version. I simply said, yo, Gemini, I need to design a logo for a jujitsu brand. And this is something I had done in recent years already, as you can see here, and of course, not using AI. The client ran with the triangle version. I preferred the square one, but that's a different story for a different video. But Gemini AI instantly brought up this neat little window. This thing can literally write reams and reams of code, and that's on just about anything you want, which is complete berserko mode. We will later look at how this might evolve in the future, but for now, let's continue. I was entering a new world where I did question whether or not this could outdo me in both creativity and speed. Obviously, we could take this code and we could use it on a website. Or if we actually had coding experience, which I don't, we could edit it and use it as a base. But anyway, once it was generated, I could now preview it like so. And what a ride this was about to be. Now, I'm not sure why it ran with Gracie as the name of the brand. But on first impressions, these symbols are, well, come on guys, they're total trash. And we also have a basic layout option here. And as you can see, messing around with these layout options isn't going to get us even 1% close to an acceptable logo design. And that is before I noticed this option right here, add Gemini features. Interesting. So I gave this a click and I waited and I waited and I waited some more. Yeah, it took a while. But if you look on the chat screen to the left, it says that it's adding a brand name generator and an AI color palette suggestion feature as well. Cool. So giving the color palette thing a try, it basically shifted the white to gray and the red to burgundy. But looking back at these symbols, they were too, dare I say, AI. Come on, basically they're just beyond useless. So let's see if we can add a feature that will allow me to create symbols based around shape psychology. As a logo designer since 2010, I know full well that shape psychology is one of the best routes to head down when generating a symbol. And that is based on your target audience. Now, granted, the first prompt I gave here was very short, but I wanted to see how it would compare to the logo I created for Iron Grip. But damn, you could at least expect it to generate the correct letter. But no, we have an E instead of a G. A round of applause for Gemini, everybody. I was beginning to see the limitations here, but let's keep tinkering. So I blasted it with a long prompt with clear instructions and indicators of what I wanted. And yeah, this isn't what I wanted at all. Not even close. I mean, it hasn't even managed basic alignment here. But before I dipped out on this part of the experiment, I wanted to give the color suggestions feature another try. Guess what? That was another disappointment. Now I'm sure if you spent a long time finessing the code and the features, you might be able to get a logo generator that is half decent. But at the end of the day, the logo results will still be created by this very AI. And I've not seen anything close to usable here. So I took the descriptive prompt and I headed to just the standard Gemini AI version, not the canvas. And I was given this thing here. Now, to be fair, this is better than what the logo generator was creating earlier. I think there is some promise or even a shred of hope to be sourced from this triangle. So I asked it to remove the circles and neaten up the triangle. And I took a gamble with the spelling of equilateral and yeah, I lost. The results of this change were, well, you can see for yourself. What the hell is this circle? I'm wondering if this dude gripped or slapped the other guy's head clean off. Hadouken! 
Has Gemini laid out plans for the downfall of humanity in this quote unquote logo? Now I let it know that I preferred the original triangle, but to just simply neaten it up. It failed at that basic task. Another hard L for Gemini AI taking my job as a graphic designer. But I wanted to quickly see how it would handle mocking this logo onto a shirt. And get this, it couldn't even do that correctly. Why on earth would it put a black design on a black shirt? Well, I guess it could actually be doing that to hide how bad this design was, maybe. But I had one last ingenious idea for old Gemini here. My prompt was simple and straightforward. Basically, I needed a mock-up generator. So the UI was half decent and what do you say? Let's give it a test run. Okay, this poster is okay, I guess, but let's give it some context. Okay, cool. But I want to see if that quality is actually okay. Is it actually 4K? And on downloading, yeah, it's half decent. But I do wonder if this text on the side is just typical AI gobbledygook. Now I'm seeing that this is basically just image generating. And sure, these could be used for mockups, but they are just flat images. Let's ask if we can turn these into actual editable PSDs. And surprise, surprise, no. It gave me a lesser version of what I wanted, having the design on a transparent layer. Okay, so as far as I've seen at the moment, Gemini AI is about as useful to graphic designers as a chocolate teapot is to me. But where might this all be heading? In the not too distant future, Gemini will likely stop spitting out flat pictures and start handing you editable structure named layer PSD files and AI files. Also things like SVGs and so on. You'll also get Figma components, but also inside Adobe, you can expect Gemini and Firefly panels that generate a symbol into a specific layer under constraints you sell it to. So things like size, grid, stroke rules, X height, and so on. It might also be able to auto prep export presets. And in Figma, a Gemini plugin might map a brief into a scaffolded design system tokens, primitives, components, responsive variants, you know, that kind of thing. And it will keep it synced as you iterate ideas. You might see that agent style workflows will watch your canvas and propose different options. So maybe tightening kerning by 2% or try a 60, 30, 10 color split, swap this poster to a nine square grid, you know, that kind of suggestion. The designer's job doesn't really vanish. It just shifts and changes over time. You set the taste, the style, the guardrails, and Gemini does a repetitive muscle work at machine speed. And I still stand by the fact that experienced designers who have an eye for design are crucial in the entire design process. But if you'd like to craft your skills in graphic design or learn something else about graphic design, just click a video on the screen. But until next time, guys, design your future today. Peace.